first, we'll draw back the caulking handle, locking the action open. Then, we'll load our five rounds from a stripper clip. Pull back the caulking handle just a bit and let it fly. This is a long recoil action, meaning the barrel and bolt recoil together to the rear. The bolt is held firm as the barrel returns forward. Once it seats, the bolt is freed to follow. The barrel is returned by two springs, a wire spring primary and a flat coil buffer spring to ease perceived recoil. Long recoil means the bolt has its own return spring. Browning nested it into the stock and connected it through a long transfer bar. Whenever the barrel is not seated home, the bolt is held to the rear by this sear, whose spring keeps it held up. This arm is tipped by the barrel seating home, which in turn cantilevers the bolt hold open down. Unlocking is fairly unique. When the barrel pulls forward on the bolt head, the bolt carrier remains locked rearward. As the bolt head is pulled out, it's rotated by a set of pins fixed in the carrier, but riding in a pair of diagonal channels cut into the bolt body. This same rotation is repeated in reverse, when the bolt body is pressed up against the barrel and the bolt head compresses and rotates within. And here is the origin of the Shoshaw's trigger group. Pull the trigger to release the front tine from the hammer, releasing it to strike the firing pin. The rear tine catches the hammer and holds it rearward whenever the trigger is still depressed. Releasing the trigger transfers the hammer back to the front tine. This system acts as a disconnect, preventing full auto fire. Rotating the safety also turns two projections into lock. The lower blocks the trigger, preventing it from being pulled, while the upper prevents the bolt from being opened, locking the action shut. The firing pin was originally floated, but here, updated, it has a set of return springs to prevent sticking. One tap of the hammer, and it transfers that punch to the primer, discharging the rifle. Since the bolt body projects from the carrier until locked, the pin's length is a natural out-of-battery safety. While the extractor is normal enough, clearing a cartridge from a long recoil action is a bit odd. Instead of being projected to the rear with recoil, the spent case is already held still with the stopped bolt. As the barrel pulls away, the case is clear, and the ejector's pressure at the base finally gets it to push upwards. This is often very weak. Lock open on empty is handled by a different sear arm, one linked to the follower. While the follower is down, the arm does not impede the bolt's travel. Once the magazine is empty, the arm arrests the bolt carrier. By the way, that flat spring on top was a later addition, meant to keep it from bouncing into the way and causing unwanted jams. A small lever is attached to the arm, allowing the user to release the bolt manually on empty 